Hey guys and welcome to the second video in my Call of Duty Cold War Zombies Tips and Tricks series. This video is going to show you the three easiest easter eggs to up your damage output fast to get you smashing through the rounds. The first easter egg was only discovered a couple of days ago and will rank one of your weapons straight to the gold damage tier. The second will give you a chance at a free ray gun and if you don't get one of those there is a way to guarantee a gold rarity weapon every time. You will also get a free perk and loads of salvage materials. The third and final will give you the Dime Machine Wonder Weapon. This bad boy is an integral part of many of the high round strats being used at the moment. Also, basically dudes, I'm really new to YouTube and need your help to get my videos out there. If you like the content, please chuck me a like on the video and a sub. I've got loads of content coming up for both Zombies and Warzone, which is all going to be waffle free and fast paced, so stay posted. For the first easter egg you're going to need a pack a punch weapon. I recommend doing this as early on in the game as possible as it can get pretty hectic as the rounds go on. Once you have the first level pack a punch, travel into the dark ether and go to the med bay. Directly behind the speed cola door you will find a big old hole in the wall. You then shoot these four switches which will turn on the lights above the doors. Once you've shot all four a light will shine out the closest door on the left. Now this light is on you can now shoot the switch on the door to release a massive monster hand. You're going to want to time this as the enemies run past and get the hand to kill 15 zombies. Once you've done this you will be rewarded with a gold tier damage upgrade for the weapon that you are holding. This one can be completed on solo but it's pretty tricky so I'd recommend doing it with more than one player. One person fending off the zombies using the ring of fire upgrade and the other using the Aether Shroud and activating the door. I tried out all different techniques to make this easier including decoy grenades. Nope. Did not work. I also tried out stun grenades. Turns out that a stun will actually activate the door and not stun the zombies. Although this didn't have the desired effect, it did actually make triggering the door under pressure a lot easier. The only thing that I found that really did make a difference was carrying monkey bombs. If you wind one of those bad boys up and chuck it behind you, it will keep the zombies off of you and give you enough time to activate the switch. As you have to kill 15 enemies and it will have to be done within the dark ether, it's going to take you a good couple of rounds to get this one done. There is also a cooldown on the monster hand. If you take a gentle jog around this route, it will get you back just in time for the cooldown to be complete. As this one does take a while, I would have your remaining team members working on something else. The second easter egg I'm going to show you today gives you a pretty good chance of getting a ray gun. It gives you a perk which is normally the jug and loads of salvage and at very worst you will get a gold tier weapon. To do this you will need the pack a punch active, once you have it activated shoot these 5 lights. After this you will be teleported to the best meme party of your life. You can either choose to throw some shapes at this point or explore the dark ether and shoot some shards for some loot as this sequence takes a while. Once the party is over travel around to the other side of the box and open it when the little screen is gold. This will guarantee you a gold tier weapon. The third and final easter egg is going to get you the D.I.E. wonder weapon. Now all you have to do to get this glorious gun is kill the first boss and pick up the little gold card that he drops. Once you have the card go and insert it into this machine near the deadshot daiquiri perk. Take this guy out the drawer and then take it back to the spawn area and insert it into this crack in the wall. Now the DIE portable super hoover needs to suck up some enemies to enable itself to shoot a blast and blow a door off to reveal itself. In the later rounds this gets really hectic so I would do it early on. You can use a decoy grenade down at the door which will attract all the zombies. If you get into a bit of a bad spot use the Aether Shroud and get out of there. If you're watching this video it's likely that I'm live on YouTube, Twitch and Facebook all at the same time so if you're up for it come over, jump in the chat, ask some questions, drop us a little follow, anything will be amazing.